Alright friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Vue 3 application and in this video we will be working on adding validation. So let me show you what we are gonna build throughout this video. So here we have this create appointment form and if I submit this form, we see this validation message, right? And the title field is required, the description field is required. And here we are directly using server side validation instead of just relying on the client side validation. So now let's get started adding these validations. Okay, so first of all, let me open up the code editor and let me go to appointment form dot view component. And we have already installed v validate, so we'll be using that package. So we need to import form from view validate. And we need to replace our form default form with this component. So over here, we'll be replacing this form with the form component from gvalidate and while using this form component we don't need to air this prevent and it will automatically handle this default behavior also we don't need to call this function let me go to handle submit and while using this we'll be getting two parameters one is values another one is actions and the values are those form fields and actions will be using actions to set the errors now we need to add the catch block as well so catch the error and we'll be using this actions to set errors and we'll be getting the errors from error dot response dot data dot errors now let me add a validation in our appointment controller store method over here request validate and we'll be validating the title as required and the description as required okay now let me go to appointment form and in our form component we need to receive the errors from slot props so for that we can use vslot directory and we'll be using the default as slot name and we'll be receiving errors so that over here after this input element we can use that errors dot title now let me test this and here we are getting fail to resolve import and this name is different it is v validate not view validate so now this is fine if i submit this form then we see this message right but we do not see the proper design so we can add classes to make this as red so let's do that errors over here let's add the class is invalid We'll be adding the class is invalid if we have errors dot title okay and we see this red border and also we'll be adding the class over here called invalid feedback and these are bootstrap classes and this is fine right now we can do the same thing for description as well so let me just copy and paste errors dot description and let's add the class call is invalid if we have errors dot description Okay, now we see that message. If I submit this, we see this validation. And if I open up the console, we are actually performing the request, right? So let me go to network tab over here. And if I click in submit, then we are sending the access request. And we are getting these error messages from our Laravel validation, right? Now, let me fill out this form and if everything is correct and if I submit this then that information is added which is perfect 
Similarly, we can add the validation for client name, appointment date and time as well. So you can do that in similar way. So this much for this video. I hope this video was useful for you. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel as I will be uploading the videos like this. So till then have a great time and I will see you on the next one.